So, you thinking about moving to Springvale, Maine? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about some of the neighborhoods surrounding Springvale Park, and we're going to get after it right now. Hi guys, my name is Michael Patterson and my partner is Margaret. And if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about living in Southern Maine, then click subscribe and tap the bell so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Southern Maine. So I'm gonna take you up in a drone and I'm gonna fly around this park to just show you what it look, looks like. It's in the center of this neighborhood. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk out of the park, down these streets right here. I'm gonna go up this street, down Howard, down Rolls and, and then shoot back up John Street. And then before I end the video, I'm gonna take you out here and show you uh, how close you are in, in these neighborhoods to a hardware store right here. And then there's a 7-Eleven convenience store. The post office is right here, Partners Bank. I'm gonna take you over here and uh, show you how these are stores right here in a restaurant. And then there's a drug store right over here. Okay, and oh yeah, there's a park right here for the Mousem Way Trail, some really cool walking along the Mousem, Mousem River. And then I'm gonna bring you, bring you back to the park just to give you an idea of how really awesome it is to be in, live in a neighborhood like this and be so close to so many conveniences. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, up, 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 and away we go. We started off in the skate park there, and that's where we'll finish this video. Now, the first thing that you see right there, a very nice basketball court with three nets. And then just beyond that is another basketball court, and we're going to fly over both of those. And that green wall that you see there, a little to the right, that I think is just used for, you know, bouncing a ball against, you know, maybe practicing pickleball or something like that. Then we come up on the play, playground and, you know, pay attention to the, the abutting neighbors there. You can see into their backyards and get an idea of what the uh, neighborhoods look like. And um, now the trees don't have any leaves on them yet because, you know, this is still spring. It's about, you know, middle of April when I took this video. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to pan left, but look out into the neighborhood. You can see all the sidewalks, you know, this considerable investment was made into this downtown area. And what we're looking at now down below, I'll pan down so you can take a look at it. That's just, you know, the field, the lawn, you know, where the kids play football or, you know, whatever during the day. And I was speaking with the owner of the uh, hardware store, and that's the hardware store right there, that building. Uh, he told me it's still a very busy park, which it was when I was a kid. And then across the street, dead center, that's the post office. And to the left, all the way to the uh, left there, that was Partners Bank. There's a convenience store in there as well. And now we'll start coming back to where we started. There's a good shot of the skate park. Now, before I land the drone, what we're going to do is we're going to pan up towards the city. The city, um, remember Springvale is part of Sanford, but it does have its own downtown area. There's the fire department there on the left and there's the intersection of downtown. And you can see Main Street, cars are starting to move there because this is still pretty early in the morning when I took this video. There's the post office across the street. Now we're gonna land the drone and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my camera, we're gonna go for a walk and we're going to get an idea of what the neighborhood looks like. When you're looking at neighborhoods in Southern Maine, what you're not going to see a lot of times is sidewalks in the neighborhoods off of the main streets. But in Springvale and Sanford, a lot of times on the connector neighborhoods that lead to the main streets, you'll find sidewalks that make these little neighborhoods really kind of cute and nice to walk in. These are some of the neighborhoods where people really tend to take care of the yards, make the neighborhood really nice, which makes it a bit more enjoyable to go for a walk. You know, as a kid, I would drive my BMX through this neighborhood and I re never really thought about too much about the location or the sidewalks or how 
pretty it is to go for a walk in these places, especially in the morning like this. Hopefully the camera's picking up some of the, uh, the birds that I can hear as I walk around. Another really nice thing about these neighborhoods is that they're close, this one in particular is very close to restaurants. And when I say close, I mean a couple thousand feet. You've got the uh, drugstore that's right on the corner of downtown Springvale. You've got the uh, convenience store, the post office. It's nice to be in a neighborhood where people like to go for a walk and you see people in and around. It gives you a nice sense of community. One of the things that I recommend people do when they're thinking about investing in a home in a neighborhood is to park your car early in the morning before people leave for work or in the afternoon when people are getting back from, from work and just go for a walk. Do it a few times. Oftentimes you'll find yourself stopping to talk to somebody who's sitting on their porch and you can ask them a few questions about the neighborhood and get kind of like the inside scoop on what it's like to live in that area. If you're the first type of person who likes a lot of privacy and you want some acreage around your house, well then maybe this isn't the type of neighborhood you're looking for. But if you're the type of person who likes to know your neighbors, likes to go for a walk, likes to participate in something like a sense of community, then these little neighborhoods and downtown Springvale and Sanford are just perfect. So something else I should probably mention is that I'm very close to the Sanford trail system in the Springvale Mousem Way. You can walk down to the Mousem River and enjoy that area as well. These small rivers and brooks, they lead to the uh, Mousem River. And hopefully the camera is picking up on how clean and clear they are. Absolutely beautiful. Now the downtown area isn't huge, but it's got all the conveniences that you need in a small town, including restaurants. Now Springvale is on the north west side of Sanford. So it's so if you want to get to the coast, it's going to take you probably 35 minutes to get to Wells or maybe a little bit more to get to Agunquit. But still pretty convenient and being close to Sanford or part of Sanford, that means you've got all the great shopping close by as well for like the big box stores and grocery stores. So make sure that when you're checking out a neighborhood, regardless of what town you're interested in, that you park your car in the morning or in the afternoon in that neighborhood and simply go for a walk. Listen to the birds if you hear any. Stop and talk to the neighbors if you see them outside going for a walk. It's a really, it's really an opportunity to kind of get plugged in a little bit, find out what's going on, get the inside scoop on what the neighborhood's like, pay attention to the sidewalks, how neat and tidy things are. And I think that can really help you make a good decision on your next investment in a home. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I come back into Springvale Park. And remember, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or our favorite, schedule a Zoom. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.